Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Sébastien Soriano, who is the Beric Chair and President of RCEP in France. Sébastien, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you about smart digital transformation. It's the, uh, the theme, the buzzword here at ITU Telecom World in Busan. I wanted to ask you, what does it mean to you? Well, I'd say smart transformation is a a world where everything is possible. So it's a question of opportunity. And uh, opportunity often uh, relies in the end on entrepreneurs. So I would say that the smart transformation is the ability of entrepreneurs to take the power with um, a kind of alliance with um, people who are using uh, their innovations to change the world. And what is the role of regulation in the smart era, in, in your opinion? Well, I say that in an internet of everything, uh, regulator should stop trying to regulate everything. So basically, uh, the role of a regulator in the smart transformation is sometimes to do nothing. But to look at what is happening and to try to incentivize to give more power to entrepreneurs to find solutions. And especially in the telecom sectors, we know that there are, will be new models with new technology and new way of doing things. Uh, and, and startups especially may change tomorrow's telecom world. And so we have to make sure as regulator that we are really giving a chance to anybody and that we are not only working with the people in the place. Uh, but in terms of uh, data, how can data be regulated? Well, I'd say that for me, the main challenge is not so much how to regulate data, but how to use data to regulate. To make myself clear, what I think is that in an ever-changing world, very complex, it's more and more difficult for a regulator to define rules that can be really sustainable and that uh, are not uh, challenged or uh, um, that do doesn't become obsolete too quickly. So sometimes it's more efficient if you want to give an orientation to the market, not to define rules, but to get data about how the market is functioning and to treat possibly the data and to make it public to empower end users to make the right choice. So for instance, today, uh, if we want mobile operators to, co to compete in investment, we have to give to the end user very detailed information about what is the operator that gives the best coverage. This is an example of how you can use data to regulate. And I think that this is a way of regulation that should develop in, in any field, so including regulating the data. And what about uh, this, this event, ITU Telecom World 2017 is a, a regular event in the ITU calendar. Why are you here? Why is it important for you to be here? And is there a message, perhaps a key message you'd like to convey to the participants here? Well, it's a real opportunity for Berek to be here because uh, as regulators, we are part of this uh, telecom family. And uh, of course, uh, uh, ministries and governments have, have uh, an important place in ITU because they, they are um, the, the organization behind, let's say, the, the ITU. But I think that regulators are, are also an important uh, party. And so uh, uh, for us to be here, uh, to hear, what people have to say and to share our view about how to build this smart transformation is something very useful. Are there any comments, are there any conversations that you've been party to that, uh, that have particularly stimulated you or particularly caught your, your imagination? Yes, for instance, uh, this morning we, we had a presentation by, by China Towers about uh, how they, they, they are sharing uh, mobile networks in, in, in China. It was quite interesting and actually it, uh, it, it, it's, um, it's not so far so to what happened in, in India, for instance, where mobile networks are, are infrastructure are almost fully shared. And this is something that could be a source of inspiration for, for Europe if we want to have big network coverage but with uh, costs that are not 
too important. Maybe more sharing more infrastructure between operators could be a solution. Yeah, sounds like a good thing. Well, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio and, and sharing your thoughts and information as well. And uh, hopefully catch up with you again in the future. I'm sure. Thank you very much. Thank you.